Hello, Danis. Welcome back. Hello, everyone. Hi, good evening. Hi, Danis. How was your day at the beach? I saw Hi, some pictures there. Yeah. How was it? What? How was it? How was your day at the beach? Um, two over, two over, three over. Really? You had lunch there or dinner? Um, dinner. Dinner. Okay, very good. With yeah. your family or yeah. with your co-workers? Uh, my family. Ah, very good. Did you take Did you take your pet to the beach? Your baby people? <laughs> uh, no. So um, only my daughter. Ah, okay, very good. She loves yeah. the beach, right? Yes. Okay, very good, <laughs> very good. So you were at La Libertad, yeah. right? Yes. Okay, very good. Right, right now is, and um, what is the casa mi suegra? I'm in my relative's house. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, you are there. Or I thought that you were night. at the beach. Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. I thought that you were at the beach. Okay. Okay, and Oscar, how are you? I see that you are getting out from work, right? Well, I guess that we can't speak. Okay, hello guys, hello, welcome. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And I am see, I was talking to Danis and he was in the beach. He was in the beach. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. But right now he is in his uh, mother in law in his mother in law uh, house, right? La casa de su suegra. Uh huh. Yes. He is there. Imagine, Anna Yancy, you saw the pictures and the video, right? In the chat. I go to the beach. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And Karina, Karina, you are happy tonight. I, I, I happy. <laughs> but I, I, it's so funny. Okay, wow. in the beach, on the beach. Great. <laughs> yes, he was he was on the beach. It's good. Okay. So uh let's see, Edwin, you are in your house, right? Good evening. Yes. It's my day off. Wow. It's Friday and Hello. and it's good to know, it, right? Your yeah. day off, very good. So you are going to sleep uh, after the class tonight. Uh, no, is is tonight's movies. Ah, with my movies. Daughter, uh, ah, okay. Uh, nephew. Ah, with your family. <laughs> I thought that you yeah. were you were going to a party. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not to a party. Sleepover, Edwin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, <Well>. Prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's a prisoner. Okay, listen to him. All right, guys, tell me, how's it going? How, how, how does it feel that today is Friday and tomorrow, maybe for some of you, is your day off? Your weekend is going to be off to relax. I feel free. <laughs> you feel happy? Yes. Lourdes. My weekend, yes, is, for me is very uh, happy because the weekend uh, enjoy 
and I can do some activities that I need to do. Okay, for example, going to the beach, no? Ah, yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Or walk around the the, the party and other activities. Okay, very good. Very good. What about you, Carmen? How are you tonight? I'm very well, teacher, and I feel so happy and relaxed because I finished my work day. So I start the, the weekend back. I have to finish the platform. So I'm happy to. Okay, very good. Everybody is happy tonight. I see. The teacher is happy too. <laughs> okay, because it's Friday. Okay. So let's see, guys, we are going to start, but before, as usual, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Okay, so say present if you are here. Alfonso? Ana Yancy? Present, teacher. Carmen Lisset? Present. Cesar Heriberto? Present, teacher. Claudia Lorena? No. Eh, Danis. Present. Dolores. Dolores. Okay. Eduardo. Present. Okay. Eh, Edwin. Edwin? Edwin not here. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. <laughs> Fidel? Fidel? Is Fidel here? No? Karina? I'm here teacher. Okay. Katia? Present teacher. Hello Katia. Are you working? Hello, teacher. Yes. Okay, so I hope that you can participate in class. Uh, I can, but when I leave my house. Okay, when I arrive home. Okay, Katia, don't worry. Lo urdes. Lo urdes. Not here, lo urdes. Okay. Um, I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay, Lourdes. <laughs> Let's see, Nelson. Nelson. Eh, Oscar. Oscar. Present teacher. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Uh, I'm turn I'm off my camera because I'm on the street. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. And Susie, Susie not here. Okay. Okay guys, so we are about to start. This is what we have for tonight. So as you can see, um, we are going to continue speaking about idioms part two, okay? Idioms about uh, part two. And this is the class number 15. This is the class number 15. That means the next week is the last week, okay? So I hope that you are working on the platform and well, we are going to recall the previous knowledge. Do you remember what was the last topic? Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, thank Phrasal you. Phrasal verbs. Yes, that was the topic. So as a class, we are going to uh, resolve these 
exercise, okay? We are going to complete the spaces in blank using the phrasal verbs that we have here on this chart, in the blue color chart, okay? So we have a, like, let me see, five phrasal verbs. Karina, can you read the phrasal verbs? Okay, put on, take off, sit up, string off, and bottle up. Okay, those are the phrasal verbs that we are going to use in this coming five exercises. Exercise number one. Lourdes, can you please read what we have there? Lower this. Sorry, teacher, I didn't hear you. Can you repeat, please? Yes, can you read number one? Uh, okay. Um, put on your clothes and let's go for a swim. Did you have your swimsuit on under your clothes? Okay, you use the phrase adverb put on, right? Yes. Okay, mm. does everybody agree? Do you agree, no, guys? Teacher. Using put no. on? No, Carmen. Which one would we choose? Strip off. A strip off. Okay, let's see. Can you read it completely, Carmen? Strip off your clothes and let's go for a swim. Did you have your swimsuit um, under your clothes? Okay, thank you. Yes, that is the correct answer. Do you know, Lourdes, what is the meaning of a strip off? No, teacher. Okay, I'm going to give you a synonym. Okay, uh, you take your clothes off when you go to swimming. So yes. that means that you have to have your uh, swimming suit, okay? O sea, quitarse la ropa y quedar en traje de baño. In okay. other words, getting like, not naked, but taking off your clothes and getting ready to go for a swim. Yes. Okay, thank okay. you. That's why we use a strip off. Maybe you have, you have heard this word, strippers. Yes, have you heard that word? This is related, this is the root, okay? In this case, in this case is a strip off the phrase adverb. Thank you. Number two, uh, let me see, let me see. Edwin, number two, please. Okay. I brought my tennis shoes for a quick round. Okay, which one did you use? Sorry. Um, let's see, put on, or which one? Put on, put on. I put on my tennis uh -huh. shoes for a quick run. Yeah. Does everybody agree? Agree or disagree, guys? Put on. Agree or disagree? Ana Yancy, do you agree? Lourdes, agree? Is correct that, Ana Yancy? Teacher, um, number two. Uh -huh. um. Sit up. Okay, mm, okay. And what do you think, Lourdes? Sit up or put on? Uh, I don't know, teacher. I need I need the the uh, no means phrasal okay. verbs. Okay, okay. What about sure. you, Cesar? You told me, yes? Is it, uh, I put on my tennis shoes for a quick run. Yes. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. We agree. Okay. Entonces, si estaba en lo correcto, Edwin. Okay. Thank you. Number mm -hmm. three. Number three. Eh, Cesar, help me you. Reading the number three and giving me the answer. Okay. My little brother is in good with buttons. He can't button up his coat by, my, by himself. Uh-huh. Okay. Button up. Okay, yes, that yes. is a correct yes. answer. Yes, button up. up. Okay, button up. Thank you. And number four, let's see who can help. Karin, I see that you want to talk. Karin? <laughs> okay. Take off your shoes, please, when you come inside the house. Okay, take off. Yes, take off. Quitarse los zapatos. Okay, thank you. Now, number five. Let's see the last participant. Number five. It's true. Oh, yes, tell me. Uh -huh. Eduardo, do you want to help me with number five? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Danis. Yes? Sure. I'm sorry, uh, I have a question. Wanna try? I'm sorry. Okay, wait, Carmen. Let's listen to Danis and you ask me later, okay? okay. Go ahead, Danis. When I try to scrap my cut, the super cut out, cut out, uh -huh. on my uh -huh. shear underneath. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Sit up. Yes, that is the last one. Thank you. Carmen? I'm sorry. Sorry, teacher. No, in this case, well, the phrasal verbs take off. Phrases. Take off. Uh, take off have a, have, has two meanings because you can use to, in this case, for the shoes, but it's using for uh, landing or aircraft, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So yes, that is true. Okay. Any other question about these phrasal verbs used here? The words? No. Only, only I memorize the the means of phrasal verbs. Okay. Okay. Yes, you need to memorize. This is about memory. Okay, so right now we are going to have an activity, guys. Let me explain what we have to do. In the first place, we have to read this article, okay? Perhaps this article has uh, words that you know and may have some words that you don't know. Right now, uh, we are going to go to the breakout rooms and first, we are going to read here for you to check the, uh, the pronunciation. Then, you are going to go to the breakout rooms and you are going to practice again the pronunciation in the groups, okay? After that, you complete a set of exercises that I have for you and also the manuals book have it for you, all right? So I'm going to start reading for you to pay attention in some pronunciation words, and then you are going to practice. All right, this is about um, how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. Step number one, get right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance, maintenance manager, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of productions and production control. 
you may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and kept up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. Step number two, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task force input, set, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Step number three, inventory and equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan, tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organized with the assistant of a good preventive maintenance software program. Okay, so that was the pronunciation guys. Now in the breakup rooms, you are going to reread the same article, but you need to take uh, and you need to pay attention to the pronunciation, okay? I'm going to be checking you and, well, after that, you are going to answer true or false. This is in your book, okay? True or false. When you finish reading the article, you answer true or false. Then we are going to discuss the, the answers. After that, you have this short reading guide. What you are supposed to do here is basically to answer it. For example, number one, write the main idea of each paragraph. What is the main idea? What is the topic of each paragraph, okay? And number two, paraphrase the steps. Teacher, what is paraphrase? Okay, that means that you are going to put the, the topics, I mean the steps, in other words that have the same meaning, but they are easier to understand, okay? And number three, you need to get ready to speak about what you understood on the topic. Is that clear? Yes? yes. Carmen? Carmen, no questions? Karina, no questions. Teacher. Can no teacher, no question. Put the last. This the last. Ah, yes. Slide. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So, are we ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, let me send you to the breakout rooms. Make sure that everybody in the group participates. And if there is somebody who is not participating, just ask me and I will go to check, okay? okay. Let's see. Seven, okay. Please join the rooms.
Hola, teacher. Hello. Did you join the breakout room? Vengo entrando mmm, allí que me guíen ellos. Ok. Ajá, sí. Pero yo creo que ya está en uno, ¿verdad? En, no. en el cinco, creo. I'm sorry. Me sacó. Ok. Give me a second. I'm going to assign no puede ser. Ah, ok. Entonces va a trabajar con Nelson. Lo voy a mandar para el 3. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Será posible que no lo encuentro, Nelson? Ya, ya. <laughs> ya me he hecho de tierra. Veamos, Karina, Susana. No lo encuentro. Nelson. Nelson. Seguro que no estaba en el room. Nelson. No. No. Revisemos ahí. En el Nelson? Ajá. Creo que ya le tuvo que haber caído ahí la, la notificación. Ah, no, 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 no me sale. Quiero ver. Tiny the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assignments you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistant and good prevent maintenance software program. Okay. Hi, Miss. Hello, Susie. Good to see you again. Hi, thank you. I'm sorry, I be late tonight. Okay, okay. don't worry. Okay, the, the first activity is we need to, to put true or false in this okay. system. Okay, yes, the first... having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. It's false. No, no, yes. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. For me, the one is false. It's false. Okay. Yes, porque dice que hay que tener a la gente apropiada, ¿ver? que no es relevante tenerla. Uh -huh. Y en el párrafo uno dice que sí. The fund, the maintenance plan, you need to have. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, it's number the... two. Uh -huh. The first is false. Yes. Two. It is important to include people who understand of maintenance. It's true. It's true. Uh -huh. Yes. Setting goals is an option for the PMP. PMP. Oh. Preventive maintenance plan. It's planned. Uh -huh. It's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number four. For better results, Creating a list of personas que entienden el ma de mantenimiento. Sí, es, es importante, es muy importante. True. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Yo... Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello. Este, <ríe> solo será que nos puede como repetir qué es lo que tenemos que hacer exactamente, porque como nos cuesta un poquito, entonces... Okay, no aquí. Okay. 
Um, you can see my screen, right? Yes. Ah, leer okay. eso, ¿verdad? Eso uh -huh. es lo que estamos... Read, uh -huh. read. Uh -huh. You say, okay, okay. Nelson. For example, Nelson, read the paragraph uh, number one, step one. So, Nelson begins. Before you begin to work, uh, he read it, okay? Then, Cesar, okay. your turn. Number two, step number two. Okay, set your goals for preventing maintenance class. And you begin reading that. Now, Nelson, is your turn. Step three, go. Inventory and equipment and assets. Okay, and he reads. Okay, that is number one. Okay. Number two, okay. you answer true or false. Okay, true or mm -hmm. false. After that, you complete this short guide. Okay, reading guide. Number one, okay. write the main idea of each paragraph. Escribir la idea principal de cada párrafo. Okay. For example, paragraph number one. In step one, you, uh, you, you are speaking about this and that. Okay. What it is about. Se trata de. Okay. That is the main idea. Okay. Number two. Okay. Paraphrase the steps. Paraphrase. Estamos hablando que acá en el reading... Como vamos por steps, ¿va? Está step one, step two, step three. Acá ustedes leen y dicen, get the right people on board. Eh, tenga las mejores personas a bordo, o sea, en su compañía, en su empresa. Ok. ¿Cuál sería otra manera de decir la misma oración, pero en otras palabras, usando otro vocabulario? Eso es para pues. Okay. Uh -huh. Como decir... Personal capacitado. Ajá. To have um, quality personnel. Well, mm -hmm. Okay. To have quality person. That can be an example. And you continue. Ah. When you finish that. Solo los títulos. Ajá, solo los títulos. When you finish ah, that, okay, okay. number three, get ready to speak about what you understood on the topic. Van a dar una pequeña, un pequeño comentario sobre lo que entendieron del topic, okay? de todo, de toda la lectura en sí. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, okay. teacher. No problem. Perfect. Okay, Nelson. Entonces, let's continue. Continue. Vamos. You may not need input from yes. Of these people at every step of the process abroad and kept up to date. Hello, teacher. I need you. Hello. You are always happy, Lord. You are happy. <laughs> okay. okay, tell me, what is your question? Uh, I don't have we don't have the with the demo, pero después de eso no tenemos nada. Okay, can you repeat mm -hmm. that, please? Because I had some, you know, I couldn't hear you very well. Casi no le escuché bien. Ah, de que tenemos ya lo de falso y verdadero del libro, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ajá, pero nos falta la última actividad y esa no le tomamos captura en ninguno de los dos. Okay. This one. Espérame que no veo. Ajá, eso. No Reading guide. Sí, eso. No okay. oh, Pensé que, que era parte del libro. Para pero me voy a tomar foto. Para frasear dos. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain. Number one, okay. you write the main idea of each paragraph. Van a escribir la idea principal de cada párrafo. Mm, okay, o sea, uh -huh. como cuál podría ser el topic. Si yo acá, si bien es cierto, yo tengo step one, get the right people on board. Ese es el topic. Uh -huh. sí. Pero de sí. lo que trata en sí el párrafo, y ahí ¿Cuál es la idea? Otro tema. Ajá, la idea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Paraphrase the steps. 
parafrasear los eh, pasos, pasos. cuáles es steps, o sea, la letrita que está en negro. Uh -huh. eh, ajá, de black. En otras palabras, ¿verdad? Ajá, yes. Por ejemplo, number uh -huh. one, get the right people on board. Eh, asegúrese de tener, digamos, las personas, las personas ideales correctas, ajá, uh -huh. en su equipo. Okay. ¿Cuál sería otra forma, en in inglés, to say that? En inglés, dicho. You need, okay, you need okay. a, a specific person for your, your team. Okay, you need a specific people in your team. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. va, entonces así de la misma manera va a continuar con el step two and step three. Uh -huh. okay. En otras okay. palabras. Yes, uh -huh. in other uh -huh. words. Decir los mismos pasos, pero en otras palabras. Ajá, uh -huh. exactto. In uh -huh. number three, three, you get ready to speak about what you understood on the topic. Okay? What's the topic about? The whole reading. Yes? Uh -huh. Y van a hablar ustedes de lo que entendieron. Uh, de the, todo. Ajá, uh -huh. de todo en general. Uh -huh. Ajá, the, the reading is about how to... The preventive maintenance plan. Ajá, ok. Uh -huh. Pero no van a decir solo eso. <laughs> <laughs> Only that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. okay, so did you understand? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. so let's yeah, work. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> no, pero ya, ya le tomé captura, ya le tomé captura. Ah, lo Ahí lo va a mandar. Software Pro. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. So, okay, and now... And now we have to do the second part. False, true and false. Yes. True or false. Okay. Having, having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. False. 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 True. False. It's important to. Crear, para crear. Okay. No, para, para obtener para mejores resultados, es importante of... crear una lista de los activos. Yes, it's true. It's, it's very it's important. It's true. It's true. Uh, according to the article, story of the PMP, uh, software is mandatory. Es obligación, según el artículo, para llevar a cabo el, es obligatorio un software. Vamos a ver. Sí, sí, en el paso, en el paso número 3 of good preventive un programa preventivo algo así algo así dice. Todo bueno, exacto aquí al final dice ajá al final dice about good preventive maintenance software program uh -huh. it's, true. it's true teacher true hello <coughs> este no apunté las las preguntas que vamos a pasar, que vamos a contestar. Write the main idea of each paragraph. And second, paraphrase the steps. Y la tercera me faltó. Ok, ready. Voy a dejar de compartir para que me la comparto. Comparto. I was about to ask you that. Let me see. En un destur me quedé. Un destur. Okay, it's this one. Um, reading guy, get ready uh, to on speak on the topic. About what you understood on the topic? Yes. Okay. Wow. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, 
it is only a uh, three uh, read the paragraph second is true and false uh, yeah and responder como se dice teacher answer 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 uh -huh. quest question yes. okay yes that's right thanks okay no problem i'm going to be checking you Yeah. A ver el primero. Bye. The number one. La idea principal de, ah. de cada uno. De cada par, parra. Uh -huh. activo fijo yo creo que sería como activo fijo para control de riesgo uh -huh. eh, es que no no hacemos cola assets la palabra assets assets ajá es como ajá pero Es que, no, bueno, realmente nos hemos confundido porque es como que en el título habla de una cosa, pero cuando ya leemos lo que dice, está hablando como de, como de prevención de programas, algo así como de prevención de programas informáticos, algo así, uh -huh. o software. Preventive maintenance. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, queremos como englobar eso como en un, bueno, se lo hace en español porque... Hay muchas palabras técnicas en esto. Este sería como un plan, es como, como un plan de, de control de activo fijo para prevenir riesgos. Uh -huh. no, no, no sé si está bien. Yes. Okay. okay. And you are you are in what exercise? Number number la uno del. Na, eh, es, es en específico sería el step el step three. Inventory and equipment, inventory and equipment and assets. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're talking uh -huh. about what you what you have in the existence. Mm -hmm. And also you have to speak see. about the maintenance plans. Mm -hmm. You need to create a list of all the assets. Ajá, lo que estaba diciendo. Necesita crear una lista de todos los activos. Assets es activos. Ajá. Sí, activos. You have responsibility for, de los cuales usted está encargado. Record, your, record the following details as you go. Ajá, y vaya manteniendo grabados los siguientes detalles. Uh -huh. So, what, what, what is the question, in fact? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Uh -huh. O sea, ¿en qué se me, ¿en qué se me han quedado para ayudarles? Uh -huh. Ah, no, eh, 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 esa es la pregunta número uno. Eh, y, y, y estamos como completando las ideas principales, pero, cabal, de esa. Entonces, no, esas son de, de falso y verdadero del. Ah, ok. You say this one, the reading, right? Ajá. Yes. The reading guide. The pa okay. pa 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 paragraph. The main, uh -huh. the main idea of each paragraph. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, podría uh -huh. ser, eh, no sé, en la tercera, no sé si le englobo así. Design an asset plan to prevent IT risk. Yes, it's okay. Ah, ah perfecto. Okay. Okay, entonces, Nelson sería design... Hello, you call me. I saw your calling. Tell me. 
I have a, bueno, I have a confusion. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, um, no sé si podría ponerlo otra vez. Ah, ahí no está. A ver, espérame, espérame. Aquí está, sí, sí. But we did the first, right? Mm -hmm. The main idea of each paragraph. Okay, the second is the steps, the paragraph. Get the right people on board. Number two, set goals. And number three, inventory the equipment. That's correct? Okay, you are paraphrasing. Ah, paraphrasing, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. What is the step number one in the book? Get the right people on board. Uh -huh. And what do you have? No entendí eso. ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿Qué han puesto ustedes? ¿El paraphrase para esa expresión? Es que ahorita hemos hecho la idea de cada párrafo. Ajá. Pero yo siento que tenerlo así. Dame, dame. O sea, lo hemos dejado organized the work team. Number two, have a checklist before start. Number three, have the equipment inventory available for the PMP to software program. Ajá. Sí, pues eso, es, eso en la idea principal de cada paragrafo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok, it's ok. Now we are going to paraphrase. We are going to eso, paraphrase. Eh, that is the, we didn't understand. How can we paraphrase this? Ok. Uh -huh. uh, can you stop sharing? Ok. Ok, I'm going to show you. Okay. We have it here. Okay, you have paraphrased the steps. The step number one is get the right people on board. Asegúrese de tener la, las personas indicadas oh. en su equipo. Okay, what is another way to say the same expression but using other words? Lo que pusimos en lo primero. No, that is the main idea. Esa es la idea uh -huh. principal. We need to re, 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 redo. Re, 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 uh -huh. Rewrite. Uh -huh, a paragraph, but with a different word. Words, yes, but not the paragraph. Only a step one in the line. Ah, okay. Only the bold letters. Las letritas que están en, en negro. Negrita. Ah, okay. Like Decirlo first... de otra manera. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, for example, uh -huh. uh, to, uh -huh. have, uh, to have the best team on board. Uh, ah, pero no tiene que usar board, porque board ya está uh -huh. dado ahí. Entonces tendríamos que usar otra palabra. ¿Cuál sería? To have the, the best, best team, está bien. Pero... Qualified, como decimos, un equipo calificado. Qualified team. Qualified team. Okay, to have a qualified team, where? Donde? In the, in the, in the maintenance department. Okay, in the maintenance department. Okay, esa podría ser una opción. O en la empresa de un solo, we can say uh -huh. the company. In the company ah, también. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Y la tercera era? Set bueno, goals. que lo que habíamos discutido nada más, que lo vamos a hablar. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Okay. Talking about okay. the paragraph. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Now I understand. <laughs> okay, Andamos bueno. perdidas como las uh -huh. de Heidi. <laughs> pero ya las vine yo a, a, a indicar el camino <laughs> para que regresen a... <laughs> okay. 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 okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Karin. Aparte de de tener ya el plan establecido hay que también capacitarlo ¿verdad? para que no vayan a dar vía <risa> <Dar vía. risa> track don't lose track Maintenance. 
Yeah. This important the program. Hi guys, is here Hi, Eduardo. Eduardo. Eduardo is here. No. No. No teacher. Oscar. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm looking for Eduardo. Okay, you are about to okay. finish. Yes, teacher. Uh, oh well, we we have to do the all, the all at the the last activity number three. Get ready to speak about what you understood of the topic. Okay, okay, good. Continue. Yes. Nelson, by the way, Nelson, I forgot to tell you that tonight you stay with me when the class finishes. 101. 101, yes. Okay. 101. Okay. So don't forget it. No se me le vaya a olvidar, oiga. Okay. <laughs> okay. La idea principal de cabo. Estaba parafraseando. Solo que retomemos lo que dice al final sobre. Sobre organizarlo con la ayuda de un software, quizás. Ajá. En, en, en is necessary. En uh -huh. is necessary. Uh -huh. eh, carry out in a software. ¿Verdad? Llevar, uh -huh. carry out. In a software po program. Software. A uh -huh. software program. Mm -hmm. Para mí es ahí. Ahí muere. Uh -huh. Hola. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. sí. Super complejo. Complicated. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't worry. Tell me what can I help you? ¿En qué les puedo ayudar? Okay. Mira, terminamos las ideas. Uh -huh. Nos faltan las dos. <laughs> y la tres. Bueno, pero la dos es más fácil, Luis. ¿Qué dice? Porque es parafrasear. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Este es más fácil. In other words. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Pero eso es casi, casi, casi lo mismo. No, porque tiene que ser corta. Esta sí tiene que ser corta. Porque como solo son los pasos. Uh -huh. Ah, podríamos poner, Luis, en la primera, choose the correct people. Okay. Choose the correct people. Y el on board, ¿por cuál expresión lo, lo cambiarían? On board. Mm. What is it mean? <laughs> a bordo. Ah, you choose the correct people. On board. O sea, las personas que están trabajando en la, en la office, en la company. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In, in, in your company. Ok, in your company. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Choose the correct people o in your... No, in your company. In your company, in your workplace. Ah, mejor workplace. Ajá. Uh -huh. In your workplace. Uh -huh. Perdone, pero ese es, ese es de cuál topic? De cuál step? De, de la paso, del el paso uno. uno. Ajá. Como tenemos que parafrasear, ¿verdad? Yes. El, eh, cada paso en otras palabras. Just the correct people. In your workplace. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya. El segundo podría ser... Mm, define goals. Define goals. Um, for, for your PMP. 
Solo le vamos a cambiar eso al link. Eso es como establecer las metas, ¿verdad? Hello, Alfonso, Eduardo, Fidel. Oscar, you ready? Yes. Ah, Oscar. Yeah. Okay, Danny, you ready too? Yes, Oscar okay. is my team. Okay, Carmen too, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. My, my team. Your team, the best yeah. team. The best, the best team. team. Okay. Ah, thank you. <laughs> the best of the best. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let me see if everybody is here. Yes, everybody is here. All right, guys, we are going to continue because of the yeah. time we couldn't make it a little bit more, but right now we are going to have the answers together. In the first yes. place, we have the true and false exercise. How did you feel this exercise? Easy, difficult, or acceptable? Easy, means Easy. All right. For the left, no. Okay, Danny. So tell me, Danny, can you help me reading number one and giving me the correct answer, please? Um. Uh... The correct answer is that uh, having a proprietor people involved is very re really bad. Oh, uh, the, the import. Okay, so yes. it's true or false? False. False, yes, that's right, it's false, thank yeah. you. Carmen, can you help me with number two? Read the complete sentence and say if it is true or if it is false. It is important to include people who understand of maintenance. True. True. Very yeah. good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, number three, Lourdes. Uh, settings goals is an option for the PMP. Is true. Very good. Thank you. Karina, number four. Okay. For better. For better result, creating a list of the asset is important. It's true. Okay, very That's good. Great. Thank you. And let's see. Susie, number five. Number five. Yes. According to the article, to carry of the PMP as software is mandatory. It's true. True? Are you sure? Yeah. I think it's true. I say it's true. Okay. Any other opinions? It's false. It's yes. false. Okay. Why is false? Because it's not mandatory. It's, it's more easy if you have a software maintenance, but you can uh, do the, the control with another tools. Okay. Very good. Thank you. So it is false. Okay, let's okay. correct this one, it's false. All right, now let's talk about the reading guide. Number one goes to Luis Armando. What is the main idea of each paragraph? Well, give me the main idea of paragraph number one, Luis. Okay, <clears throat> number one uh, is uh, just the correct people and each area that will be part of the PMP. Okay, thank you, Luis. Uh, give me the main idea of paragraph number two, Oscar. Okay, uh, set go to mission. Okay, very good. Uh, Cesar, give me the main idea of paragraph number three, please. No, three. Uh, 
Uh, designing an asset plan to prevent IET risk. Okay, thank you. Now we are going to talk about the paraphrasing. Okay, uh, let's see, Karina, can you help me with number one? Okay, the number one, in another words, is you have the qualified team in the company. Okay, qualified team. Okay, qualified team. Thank you. And number two, Anayansi. Paraphrase number two, please. Nancy, are you there? Are you? Okay, go ahead, Dennis. And Nancy, you are in mute. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh -huh. sí. Number two, paragraph the stick. Okay. The important sharing goals and your preventing my 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 thing say plain begging. Okay, and I can say thank you. And the last one, please help me. Let's see, let's see, Edwin. Uh, create a suitable program. Okay, thank you. So paraphrasing is, you know, putting the some lines or topics in another words, right? So it's similar to the main idea, similar, but not the same, okay? Nelson, can you tell me what you understood on the topic? Nelson? Yes, teacher. And the step one, I, I understand uh, when, with the plan. Okay. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Now, uh, Carmen, what did you understand about what did you understand about the topic? About your on the topic, well, uh, if you want to get a better preventive maintenance plans, you have to you need to have the right people on each part of process. For example, in a control, in an accounting, in a quali qual quality area, etc. And after that, you have to set goals to measure the result of your maintenance plan. And after that, you need to have the control of all your equipment and, and assets. Okay. And you can do this part with a, it's not mandatory, it's not a mandatory, but if you have a software, if, but if you have a maintenance software, it, it could be more easy to, to get a. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. So continuing, we have this preventive maintenance, okay? Preventing maintenance. Mm -hmm. What do you understand about this? Can you give me ideas, guys? Oh, greater the, the preventive main, maintenance? Uh -huh. The for mom 
Ok. Eh, in one word, en una palabra, ¿cuál sería preventive meanings for you? Um, hmm? We are assume? talking about definitions. Yes, tell me. ¿Es sure? ¿O como asegurar? Ajá, uh -huh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Assure. Thank oh. you. Yeah, thank the you. next one. Another opinion, guys. Calendar. Sure. Calendar. No sé cómo se dice calendarización. Okay. Program. Schedule, Susan. For planning. And dates, okay? Parentheses, schedules. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Another one? Program, you say program, right? Um, yes. Program, programs, okay. Another idea for preventive maintenance? Tools. Yes? Plan. Tools? Tools? The word is you say plans. Yes. Software. Checklist. Software. Checklist. Checklist. Okay. So let's see. These are your ideas, right? This is a brainstorming activity. Yes? All right. Very good. Right now, you have here, what is this about, all right? Let's see, I'm going to ask Lourdes, can you please help me reading the definition of preventive maintenance, please? Of course. Uh, the goal of preventive maintenance is to prevent equipment failure before it occurs and to reduce the risk of accidents. Okay, very good, thank you. So the, the main goal of this is to prevent failures. Failures, okay? Failures, to failures. prevent disasters, in other words. Okay, yes. and reduce the risk of accidents in the company. Okay, that is about yes. prevention, prevention, in other words. Thank you. Now, Dennis, can you please help me read in types? Types. Uh, time by basic. Time, time based. Time based. Uh, main maintenance. Uh huh. Uh, use use. Usage. Usage. Or oh, basic. Main main C. Uh huh. Main C. Predictive. Predictive. Mains. Predictive means. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Dennis. Now, uh, listen, we have three types, three types of this uh, of this prevention. Now, Carmen, can you give me uh, any idea what comes to your mind when you hear the, the expression time-based maintenance? Sorry, Coco, can you repeat, please? Okay. I can listen, very good. Okay, what is the main idea for you mm -hmm. Your opinion mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the first one. Some basic yes, is maintenance is coming. The goals of preventing maintenance is to prevent equipment about this. Right, I'm, I'm, I am okay because the, 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 the principal goal is avoid all the accidents or failure mm -hmm. in the equipment. Okay. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you. Now, Susie, the second type, used based. Usage based. Well, I think it's a um... A program, a checklist, a list. What can you do? Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Susie. Thank you. 
And the last one, Luis, can you tell me what comes to your mind when you hear the expression predictive? Luis? Yeah. Maybe to check, check the equipment. Okay, yes, check the equipment before usage, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. And Ayansi, what is the advantage that we can have for preventions? Teacher, I'm sorry, pero eso no lo terminé. No, no, don't worry. This is extra information. Oh. This is extra information. <laughs> No, no, que está bailando con la bulla que se voy allá afuera. Ok. Miren lo urdes como vos. Como vos, lo urdes. Como es heavy. Ok. Alright. Thank you. Thank you, Anayansi. Uh, anybody who can help Anayansi, please, what is the advantage of preventions? Preventions. It prevents of five. five Failure. Yes, failure. Failure. Um, the equipment uh, work better. Okay. During more time. Okay, paraphrasing yeah. that, Karina, paraphrasing that, what do you have? Qua quality at work. Very good, quality at work. Thank you. Now, tell me, I want to, I want to listen to comments, to opinions about these two questions. Do you have preventive maintenance at your workplace and how do you apply it? Okay. Yes. Yes. Do yes. you have preventions, preventions in your workplace? Yes. How is that? Yes, tell me, Danis. Yeah. Uh, for example, in different area. Mm -hmm. uh, area injection, extrusion, or insert. For uh, the area in specific is the preventing menacy mm -hmm. is for uh, mon and mon. Okay. Mon, and mon why uh, the team, team the menacy is a capacitator in a specific the electronic or energy elect, elect no electrician electrician no electrician yeah hydraulic or the sorry, a mechanic general, a general okay. mechanic. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Danis. Thank you for your comment. Okay. Oscar, what is your comment about this? Mm, Do you have prevention? Yes. Yes. Yes, we have. We try to implement uh, norms of the ministry Ministry of Labor. Mm -hmm. The recommendation. Any, any technician. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Oscar. Mm -hmm. Another opinion, guys? How is a prevention at your workplace? In my workplace have a calendars for maintaining, maintenance preventive mm -hmm. for computers and machine in, in production. Okay, how often? How often do you check your computers? On my computer, two, two twice in the year. Okay, twice a year? Dos yes. veces al año? Okay, yes. Yes. very good. Thank you, guys. Now, continuing, we have these little babies here. I don't know if you remember them. Do you remember these little babies here? Do you remember idioms? 
Yes. Okay. These babies are a little bit complicated, right? <laughs> All right. So we have the part two for today. Part two, idioms part two. All right. This is extra as a complement for the part one, all right? Uh, right now here, we have uh, eight different idioms. For example, number one, wipe out, okay? Wipe out, wipe out, wipe out, okay? Wipe, wipe out. out. Mm -hmm. What it means, what it means. That means that you are really tired yes. or an activity, an action is really tiring. Uh, okay. okay. Activity, Very people tired. or something is tired. Okay. okay. Wipe out. Wipe out. Number two, to have a lot on one's plate. That means to have a lot to do. No significa que tiene mucho en el plato, ¿verdad? De alguien. <risa> ok. <risa> Recuerden, eso no tiene traducción literaria. Algunos de ellos no. So, in this case, to have a lot on one's plate means to have a lot to do. Tener mucho que hacer. Number three, to settle down. That means to fall down, to take it easy, to relax. Ok. Mm -hmm. To settle down. And number four, hang in there, hang in there. Be patient, guys, be patient. We are about to finish the class. Hang in there, please, hang in there. <laughs> All right. The rain. And number five, to keep one's head above the water. Head above the water. That means to survive. At the end of this course, I can say, 17 people kept one's head above the water. Yes? 17 sobrevivientes. Yes? All right. Number seven. No, let's see. Six. Let, yes, six. To scale back one's hours. To scale back one's hours. That means to reduce the number of hours one works. Reducir el número de horas que uno trabaja. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I it's need. <laughs> yes, you can say, teacher, I need to scale back one's hours. Necesito reducir mi tiempo de trabajo, teacher, because I am very tired. I am wiped out. Okay. Okay. The well, next one is uh, stressed out stressed out i guess that today is friday and we here in the class we are stressed out stressed yes out. that means under severe strain and very anxious very anxious Estamos ansioso porque sea weekend, yeah, yeah. yes okay sleep one's mind sleep one's mind to be forgotten eh, oh. Ser olvidado. Ah, okay. Ser olvidado. Teacher, se me olvidan las cosas. Yes? yes. A eso nos referimos. Sleep one's mind. Okay. All right. Eh, let's see. Can you please, in your notebooks, create one example using any of these idioms? Yes? One example only. Yes. Select only one. El que más. Ustedes creen que van a utilizar, que más van a aplicar. Select one and you create a full sentence example and you tell me then. To settle down, maybe. To settle down, okay. Can you yes. give me the full sentence? To, to settle down, to calm down. Aha, uh -huh. that is the meaning. But what is the full sentence? For example, let me open here. Examples. Oh. Well, settle example, down. You say settle we, down. We, mm -hmm. we we can settle down in. Uh -huh. Oh, se me olvidó cómo se dice horas laborales, perdón. The working hours. 
Ah, okay. okay. Weekends. We can fall down in work hour. Working. We, okay. Yes. Very good. Aba about the machines. For okay. About the machines. Thank you, Oscar. Very good examples. We can't settle down in working hours about the machines. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any other example, guys, ladies, gentlemen? In the... In the close the... mode, everybody wipe it out. Say it again, please. <laughs> okay. A ver si me captale. <laughs> For ending mode, everybody wipe it out. Lo asocio a mi trabajo, que para cierre de mes todos estamos muy cansados. Yeah. Okay. For, okay. For close month or ending month. Okay, for ending. For the cycle okay, of at the end, end, we say at the end of okay. the month. Huh? At the end of the month. Everybody. Everybody. Wipe it out. Is wipe it out. Wipe Okay. Oh, wipe out. Uh -huh. Wipe out. Yes, everyone, wipe everybody out. is wipe out. Yes, very good. Perfect, Susie. Karina, you were telling me one example too. Okay. In the in the long line in the bank, mm -hmm. you need hand in there. Noon. At noon. Yes, no, no. Hours? no, 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 in the long, sorry, in the long, or oh, in the bank line, uh -huh. when you go to the bank, you make a line, uh -huh. <laughs> but in this case, you hand in there, to you be in there, like this. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. So in the bank line, you hang in there. Okay, you need to be patient. That's right. Thank you. One more example, please. Me, teacher? Yeah, go ahead. I'm trying to get through. I'm trying. I'm trying. To get through. To get through. But there's no answer. Answer. Try to get through, but there's no answer. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Ah, go ahead. Every day is very tiring for me. Okay, every day is very, very tiring. tiring for me. Okay, so what idiom can we use? What idiom here? Tired. Very yes. tired. Wipe Very out. Very tired. Right? Yeah. Wipe out. Wipe. Sorry. Yes, it's that one, yeah? Wipe out. For me, you say. For me. Yeah. Okay. Every day is wipe out for me. Okay. Okay. Friday is wipe out for me. No? Okay. Very good. Thank you. So we created the examples. Now, uh, this is for you to memorize. It's to enrich your vocabulary. Esto es para enriquecer el vocabulario, ¿verdad? So my recommendation is to memorize. Memorize and practice. Okay. And now, look, we are going to go to the breakout rooms. We have the last two activities, and we are going to do the first one. This is about writing a short paragraph about the common issues with machinery at your workplace. Okay, this is what you have to do. You need to have at least four lines, four to five lines, the cuatro a cinco líneas, el paragraph. Talking about issues with the equipment in your workplace, right? This is number one. 
And this is number two. We are going to uh, use the idioms you have here, hot in water, butterflies in one's stomach, under the weather, hold your horses. Have you heard that before? Hold your horses. Agarra tu caballo. <laughs> no? It doesn't mean that. Hold your horses means to wait. Okay? Hold your horses significa esperar. Okay, relax, slow down. Okay, piece of cake. Un pedazo de pastel, por favor. Para cuando termine la clase. No. no? <laughs> yes, no. Piece of cake means yes. easy. Easy. Yes. Okay. And then you have the other ones. Y aquí tienen los otros. You can have a screenshot, please, right now, for this activity. Yes. And you are going to... Complete the spaces in blank that you have on the left, okay, on the left side, using the idioms, okay? You have like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, okay? 15 idioms to use here, all right? Do you Bye. understand the activities, guys? Yes. All right, very good. So we are going to go to the breakout rooms right now. Please practice and join the breakout rooms. I'm going to recreate them. Let me see. Go ahead. Eduardo, Cesar, and Alfonso, and Fidel, please join the breakout rooms, guys. This practice is going to help you a lot. Ahí se quedó congelado. I'm frozen. No? You have it? Or can I no. share it with you again? Okay. Do I share it again? Se quedó congelado, Nelson. Te lo comparto de nuevo, Costa. Sí, por favor, gracias. Okay. Eh, y ambas, o solo la, la primera parte, la de. Ambas, por favor. Es que Nelson no iba a pasar, pero se le quedó. Okay. Gracias, gracias. Wait. If this is one writing. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. This is one. You got it? Yes. And this is the number two. Okay. Yes. Got it? Okay. So <laughs> low. Yes? Yes. Okay. So I, I don't know where is Nelson. Tuvo, tuvo problemas. Sé que estábamos platicando y se... Se le quedó congelado. Uh -huh. sí. Aquí, muchas okay. gracias. Okay, so maybe I'm going to send you with... Katia doesn't have a group neither. We are in uh -huh. room two. I'm going to send Katia here. Perfect. Great. Okay, let's wait for her to enter. Yes, she's here. Katia, okay. you will work with Oscar. Okay. The first activity is... Thermal 
And your multifunctional printer. Okay, printer multifunction. A multifunctional printer. Multifunction printer. Uh huh. Okay. In my office, we have a multifunction. Um, um, el papel está trabado. I need. In my work, sometimes the multifunction no. printers have a problems with paper. With paper, we have uh, some problems. Yes, when I say some, some issues, some issues, we have some issues. Okay, issues. Yes, issues. Printer. We will printer. I am lost when usted perdía con lo que dijo. Porque yo iba, in my workplace, sometimes the multifunction printer have problem with the paper. ¿Dónde va lo que usted dijo? No, es que mm -hmm. habíamos dicho in my office, we had some issues for multifunctional printer. No? Después de in my workplace. What is the word, Karina? No, it's in my office. The other place. Ah, y andan, está bueno que anden aprovechando. Ay, mis. Hello. You know, que andan aprovechando, ¿eh? The time to share. Time, time, time. For not to sleep. Why don't you go to the beach? You want to go to the beach? Yeah. Okay. He the likes next. the beach. What? You like the beach, right? And your, yes. And your daughter, yes. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He goes to the beach every single weekend and Friday. The last, the last Saturday, I remember that he sent a picture in the group that he wants. <laughs> yes, uh, mm -hmm. and all weekend. Uh huh. You see. Yeah. All weekends. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Ahora me tuve que meterlo. Ah. Aquí anda. Ah, lo ha llamado. Sí, sí. <laughs> no sí. lo deja, ¿verdad? No, no. El compañero fiel. Sí. <laughs> en la casa de su mother in law anda, ¿verdad? Yes. Mother in law. Mother in -law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> she lives in the beach. No. What? She lives in La Libertad Port. No. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So you are near the the ocean. La cerquita del océano, ahí pues, Dani. Ah. Ah. One. One. ¿Cómo se dice? Cuadra. Uh, one square. One square. Yes. Qué chévere. Y nosotros aquí, ¿verdad, chicas? <laughs> Ay, <laughs> cabal. <laughs> Ay, <laughs> okay. Well, imagine. Imagine. Yes, we imagine that we are yeah. in a hotel room <laughs> near the beach. Yes. <laughs> bueno. Hoy no, creo que entonces, sí vamos con la segunda, ¿va? ¿Con la segunda? Sí, con la segunda. Uh -huh. Pero creo que no le tomé foto. Ah, sí, creo que sí. sí. ¿La ven? No. No. Tienes que dejar de compartir y volver a compartir. Ah. Ajá. Si no, no reconoce los cambios. Ok, permítanme. Bye. Hoy voy a, solo voy a recortar la pantalla porque si no, no la van a ver.
Okay. That's the file. Problem at the top. Problem with incoming emails on server. Just fail. Teacher. Hello. Hello. Tell me. It is the correct uh, problem with outgoing calls the pilot? Problems with incoming emails or. No. Ah, out, problem out with outgoing calls. Outgoing calls. Uh, llamadas salientes, por ejemplo. Hace poco en, en, en Guatemala no tenía entrada de llamadas. Ok. Yes, it's ok. Outgoing sería. Outgoing. Mm -hmm. outgoing. outgoing call. Outgoing call. Ok. And, and what do you mean with pilots? The pilots. Eh, pilotos de camiones, truck. Ok. Pilot, so you say problems with outgoing calls from, from the pilots. From the pilot. Uh -huh. The pilot. Yes. The pilot truck. Yes. Para ser más específico. Uh -huh. The pilot truck. Yes. The, no, the other way around. The truck's pilot. Ah, okay. Truck pilot. Uh, and in problem the truck. Uh -huh. A problem with un incoming emails and server. Server is break mm -hmm. breakdown sería verdad como caída. Uh -huh. Problems with oh. incoming emails and server break, oh. break with C without C. Mm -hmm. Yes, breakdown. Breakdown and server breakdown. Mm -hmm. Okay, listen, in engine problem, you have to say first truck engine problem. What? Uh, truck, yes. Mean? Truck engine problem. Truck engine problem, okay. Mm -hmm. Truck engine problem. Mm -hmm. okay. Y como yo no paso en el trabajo, no sé ni qué pasa ahí. <laughs> okay, so you are writing the you are writing the the paragraph. El párrafo están escribiendo. Sí. Okay. Teacher, es que yo le digo a Don Edwin que yo le voy a agarrar copia porque yo a donde yo trabajo como es una tienda de ropa entonces a mí no me pasa ningún problema no. Ah. Ajá. No entonces. No puedo utilizar todas las palabras que, que hay que uh -huh. utilizar para hacer el párrafo. Ok, don't worry. Ok. Email and server trick. No tengo más, teacher. Ok, it's ok. okay. Está bien así, pero ahora hay que estructurar el párrafo. Ah, hay que hacer un, una oración completa. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah. For example, in internet yeah. connection yeah. fails because. Yeah. Yeah. Yo había puesto ahorita department IT. The other way around, IT department. Ah, sorry. IT department. Uh, help. Helps. Helps. Yes. Helps. Mm -hmm. Helps. Yes. Helps. 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 Para diferenciar dónde va. For, for is para. From es de. De. De y para. De uh -huh. y para, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, so IT department helps. And the offices. No. Can you remove N? El N creo que está de más ahí. Ah. Solamente sería IT helps department the helps the offices with internet connection. Failure. Which? The in. With. 
en vez de ah, fails. fails, en vez de fails, podríamos usar fails. failure. Failures. Uh -huh. Ok. Failure. Uh -huh. okay. Ver. ¿Cómo es de vez en cuando? Tipo? From time to time. From time to time. Okay. Mm -hmm. From time to time. Go. Claro. Call to claro. Call to claro. Call to claro. Ah, lo puse. Lo siento, ando. Ok. Digo. Ok. Estoy usando el teclado de la, de la laptop y no me ayuda mucho. Ah, ok. Sí, eso veo que, que se hace de un lado para otro. Sí, es que la agarra feo. Okay. Claro, GT. Okay. We have only we have only like five six minutes to finish so hurry up please what okay okay or, yes okay hello you finish hello teacher yeah. no teacher I have a question yes tell me uh, we can repeat any word or Yes, you can. One. And the idioms. Yes, you can use idioms if possible. Si es posible usar no. idioms, los usamos. No, no. En, la, en, la, en la otra actividad, en the second activities. Ajá, in the writing the, activity. Uh -huh. Ah, you say the, the second one. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, well, which We one can is? repeat the idioms mm -hmm. in the... It depends on which one, which for example, literal. For example, literal A and M. Literal A, you say, I have to say, I have to tell you something mm -hmm. that will. Okay, I have to tell you something that will, what? All here. Okay, that will. Okay, but what is the, the other part of the sentence? I have to tell you something that will, that will make you, that will make you be all ears. All ears, yes. Make you be. Make you be all ears. Make you be Mm -hmm. yeah. Number two, literal B. What do you have for that? He. When, when they accidentally told her about the surprise party. Okay. And which one did you have? Okay. Ah. Which one do you have there? He accidentally told her about the surprise party. In hot water. In hot water. Yes. Okay. Yes, can be that one. He, he was, he was, you have to make the conjugation. He was in hot water when he accidentally Told her about oh, the surprise party. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what I am going to do. 
around you are probably things that I have. I tell you that you what I'm going to do. So you will probably think that I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you got it, you got the idea? Tell about about I need to talk with you. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Te diré lo que voy a hacer. A pesar de que creas o que pienses que yo tengo. Okay, I'll hear. I'll what? Hear. Which one? Mm. I'll hear. I'll hear. A size of case. Okay. Let's see. I am in hot water. Who wants leg? Cold feet. Maybe cold feet. To, to lose courage to do something. The last one, cold feet. So do cold you have feet. ideas? Uh -huh. Cold feet. To lose courage to do something you had planned. Oh, uh-huh. Huh? I have a cool fit. Yes. So you continue there. Okay. We finish in three minutes. Okay. So hurry okay. up. Thank you. Uh -huh. We finish, okay. ladies. No, teacher. I know. It's difficult. No, it is not easy. No easy. No, I'm serious. To think a lot. <laughs> okay, to be or fall in. ¿Qué dice acá esta otra? Fall or oh, ¿qué sería? Or black energy. Cuando andas de mala suerte. Vamos a ver. Ah. And what do you have for literal A? ¿Cuál tienen para el A? No Todavía no hemos llegado. Estamos buscando las páginas. <laughs> Look, no I'm in hot water. Because my teacher caught me cheating in the test. Okay, I like that one. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Was your math exam hard? No, it was a really piece of tape. Yes, correct. To reveal a secret. Okay. Reveal a secret, you shouldn't My friend. Got a uh, deciding no got my friend got and okay, decide. Okay, uh, in that case, my friend got literal K, my friend got and decided not to do a bungee jump. Pull Maybe on legs. Use, yeah, that one, that one, Susie. Coat, coat between, coat between two stools. Mm. Feet. That Hello? my friend got cold feet and decide not to do a bungee jump. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two less thing about mm -hmm. this for a let's moment. Just let's think about this. For a moment. No, 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 not cold feet. Uh, it's cold between two stools. El, el muñequito que se ha parado en las dos sillas. Ajá. Ah, okay, okay. 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 Tools. Tools. Mm -hmm. Ok, 
Okay, let's check the other one. Let's think about this for a moment. Okay. Let's think about this for a moment. Pensemos en esto por un momento. Vamos viendo que eran estas cositas aquí abajo. Esa ya la hicimos. Butterflies in one stomach. To be very nervous and anxious. Estamos enamoradas aquí. Mire, Karina. Las mariposas en el estómago. Under the water to be filled. Maybe hold your horses. No. Set or like energy. Hold horses to wait, slow down. Consider things careful. Uh huh. And hold your horses. Because there you say, let's see. Uh, think about this for a moment. Pensemos en esto en un momento. Y ahí donde está hold your horses, dice. Slow down, eh, agarrarlo con calma y mm -hmm. consider things carefully. Cuidadoso. Mm -hmm. Considerar las cosas okay. cuidadosamente. Hold your horses. En el literal H es la respuesta una de las que vimos en la clase del miércoles. La H. I'm feeling I'm Ah, is the uh, cause an arm and leg? No. No. H, H, H. I am feeling I am in a, a cold. Tengo un resfriado. I think I'm getting a cold. Oh. No, no cold feet. It's a, the, as a sick, no sick. No. no. Ahí está. Under, a la parte de Under the water. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, under the water. All right, ladies, we are going to finish this. We are going to continue in the main room. Okay, thank you, Miss. Ya you... vamos a salir. Ay, no. <laughs> I will help you. Don't worry. And you will help me with the answer. Nelson, remember that you stay with me tonight after the class. Yes, teacher. Okay. Hello, guys. Welcome back. How was this exercise about idioms? Can you tell me what is the answer for literal A? I have to tell you something that will. All ear, all ear. Okay, all ears. Okay, very good, all ears. Literal B. He, when he accidentally told her about their surprise party. Huh? In hot water. Hot water. Okay, very good. Hot water. Literal B, hot water. Literal C. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Although you'll probably think that I have. Let the cut out of the bag. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, although you probably think I have. Okay, let's leave it like that. Let the cut. Literal D. I'm my teacher because she called me cheating on the, in the test. In hot water. 
In hot water. In hot water too. Okay. Yeah. In hot water. Okay, don't worry. The next one. I'd better now. The no, yeah. I'm feeling really exhausted. Is Hit it the hot? sack. Hmm? Hit the sack. Hit the sack. Hit the sack. Okay. Hit the sack. Hit the sack. Yeah. Vamos a voltear el saco. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Literal F. He is so cute that when he looks at me, it's tan lindo que cuando me mira. <laughs> ah, butterflies. Butterflies in one in stomach. One stomach. Okay, butterflies. Uh. Okay, <laughs> love. love is in the air, love is in the air. Okay, a literal D. We are all packed and ready to go. We can leave. Literal D. At the drop of a hat. Okay. Uh -huh. At the drop of a hat. Yes, immediately. Yes. Okay, very good. Literal H. I am feeling a bit. I think I'm getting a call. Under the weather. Yes, under the weather. Porque tengo un resfriado. Estoy enfermo, enfermo. Okay, mm. under the weather. Thank you. Literal I. Is Samantha really getting married or are you just? De verdad se nos va a casar Samantha, dice. Oh, between two. Call Pete. No. Call Pete? No. Yours? No. Okay. Or. Uh -huh. Or hold between. Lost ones, Marbis? Who's on? Who's there? Who? Uh huh. Yes, pull one's leg. Yes? Yes, pull one's oh, leg. Leg, yeah. Leg. Okay, very good. Was your math exam hard? Estuvo tu examen de matemática difícil? No, it was really a piece of cake. A piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Very piece good. Cake. Oh. Uh, my friend got. My friend got. Cut between two stuck. Stu okay. Cut between two stools. Out between two stools. Very good. Literal L. Just let's think about this for a moment. Uh huh. Uh, hold your horse. Hold your horse. Hold your horses. Okay. Very good. Literal M. Tell me who was at the party. I am. I am up the drop of a hat. All ears. Okay, that can be two possible options. All ears mm -hmm. and yeah. up the drop of a hat. Okay, very good. The next one, if you try to please both your father and mother, you can end up. If you try to please both your father and mother, you can then go to pay a bill to me. Mm -hmm. Which oh, one? Between two stools. Okay, yes, that can be another option. Yes, mm. go to between two stools. Sí, podrían haberse utilizado más de una vez en algunos casos. Mm -hmm. Ajá, según sea el, el meaning, ¿verdad? Okay, eh, la última, I don't know how you could afford these sport cars. No sé cómo se compraron este carro, chicos. Okay, carro Plus. deportivo. It must have. Los Juan Merbergs. Cost an one arm, elbow. An okay, cost an arm and arm, a leg. Yes. Cost yeah. an arm and a leg and a leg. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't finished this exercise, uh, maybe you can continue working on that. 
later as a practice, but we have given the answers. So thank you very much, guys. We have come to an end tonight, but before you go, I'm going to pass the attendance list, okay? okay. So Alfonso Antonio, Ana Yancy, Carmen Lisset. Present teacher. Cesar Heriberto. Present teacher. Claudia. Danis. Present. Dolores. Present. Eduardo. Edwin. Present teacher. Fidel. Karina. Present teacher. Katia. Present. Lourdes. Present. Luis. Present teacher. Nelson. Present. Oscar. Present. And Susie. Present, Miss. Okay, guys, thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it. I'll see you until Monday. Have a nice weekend and a good night. Yes. Bye. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Nelson, get ready with your questions. Give me some. Okay. Yes, Nelson. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. This is your space for you to ask mm -hmm. questions, or we can have a conversation if you want. <laughs> a conversation. Okay, uh, yes. For example, in, mm -hmm. I have a problem with your language, English. Okay. But um, my listen no is very desarrollated. Develop. Ah, Develop. Entonces, lo que, lo que le quiero decir más que todo es, por ejemplo, si la mayor parte de las cosas las dice en inglés eh, poco le entiendo okay. si usted esa misma conversación me la da escrita la entiendo en la parte de listening Ajá. entonces okay. no sé qué, qué consejo podría usted como que darme ok sí, eh, the recommendation is to listen music in English and to read the subtitles. You can also watch movies in English and read the subtitles, okay? Música, películas, eh, va a haber algún video ahí en YouTube in English, but with subtitles, con subtítulos, para que mm -hmm. por medio del oído usted vaya captando la pronunciation y eh, vaya viendo cómo se escribe, ¿verdad? Y la manera en que se está pronunciando. ¿Ok? And also, I can recommend you to read material in English. Read, uh -huh. leer, para que vaya aprendiendo vocabulario. ¿Ok? That is my recommendation. And also, if you have a study buddy, you can practice with him or with her. Si tiene a alguien con quien practicar, También puede hacerlo, ya sea verbal o escrito. Aunque la idea de los breakup rooms, la idea de los breakup rooms aquí en la clase es esa, ¿verdad? Que practiquemos como grupo y, o sea, intercambiar ideas y todo lo demás, pero en inglés. ¿Ok? Sí, ese es el fin. Hay, hay algunos compañeros que están más adelantados y apoya bastante. Por ejemplo, Carmen, Eduardo, cuando entra, es un buen apoyo también. Ok, sí, ajá. Y me andaba defendiendo, pero hay otros compañeros que uno está mal y ellos ni siquiera sé para qué entran, si al final ni, 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 ni qué participan, ni nada, solo como que estuviera solo uno ahí y no, no, no estoy de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok, sí, pero ahí ya, ya es, digamos, eh, opción de cada quien va. Y si yo 
voy a estudiar algo es porque a mí me interesa, ¿verdad? Porque sé que eso me va a abrir puertas en el futuro, ¿verdad? Me pueden ascender en el trabajo, pero sí, o sea, igual yo cuando los veo que están con alguien que no participa en clase, no sé si se ha fijado que rápido los muevo a otro salón para que puedan estar con alguien que sí les va a responder, o sea, los observo, les doy unos minutos ahí para ver si la persona contesta, pero si no contesta, pues vamos al, al, otro, al otro break up room. La idea es que estén activos practicando, porque como les comentaba, si continúan, ¿verdad? El próximo módulo es el último ya. Ya dentro de un mes estarían en intermedio. Uh -huh. Sí, es cierto, ya un mes para terminar el básico. Ajá, ya estarían en Intermediate English. Ajá. Entonces ahí, pues, por eso es que les digo yo. Lo ideal es que cuando hacemos los breakup rooms acá, se activen hablando. Uh -huh. Aunque sea que yo sé que algunos hablan más rapidito que otros, otros nos cuesta un poquito más. Pero sí, o sea, no, 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 no nos vamos a detener solo por eso. Ay, dicho, pero es que no tengo fluidez. No, no importa. De eso se trata, que la agarren. Y yo ya he observado lo que usted dice. Algunos compañeros sí sirven de apoyo. Sí, muchos sirven de apoyo, la verdad. Uh -huh. Hay como cinco o seis que sí están bien avanzados. Okay. Hay otros que de verdad necesitamos que nos estén. ¿sí? Patience. Como que aclarando más uh -huh. los temas. Ok. Ok. Tell me, did you complete sí. the platform? La... La plataforma, hay que ver, la de esta semana no la he completado, solo llegué hasta la Mister, Mister, en algo así. Ajá, ok. Ok. Hasta, sí, hasta ahí. Ok. Y con los temas de esta semana, pues como les decía, es Memory. Miss Memory. Memory, uh -huh. ah. para enriquecer vocabulario. Pero claro, usarlos, ponerlos en práctica de vez en cuando. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, so, sí, por ejemplo, ahorita el de la el de la España estaba en entretenido. Ajá, el de los idiomas. O sea, al principio me botó el internet de la señal. Sí, me botó el internet de la señal y cuando regresé, pues ya me han pasado como 10 minutos. Ya no quise entrar porque no sabía qué iba a hacer. Ah, ok. No, pero cuando sea así, no se preocupe. Yo cuando me, me cae la notificación, hay un participante sin grupo, rápido los agrego y rápido me voy para ahí a ver si ya le explicaron los compañeros lo que van a hacer. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, yo me he quedado ahí. Más si me pone con Fidel ahí. <risa> Fidel, ajá. Bueno, sabe que me le pasó a Fidel acá, ¿verdad? Ok. So... Uh, is there any other question, Nelson, that you have? No, for a moment, no. Okay, I'm, only... going, I'm going to ask you three questions. Voy a hacer tres preguntitas para cerrar así, but in English. Okay, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, uh... Thing for me. Yes. For example, your ver your favorite color, your favorite music. Okay, my favorite music is an electronic. And my favorite color is blue. Blue okay. or red. Depends. Okay. And your favorite day of the week? My favorite day is, is Friday. Friday, okay, very good. And your favorite food? It's uh, seafood. Seafood, okay. What is your favorite place? Um, um, I not have favorite place. I like play soccer. But not is my favorite. And okay. um, I play in video game. Okay. 
Okay, very good. What is your favorite video game? It's, no, it's the Mario. Mario, Mario Bros. Mario Bros. Okay, very good. And what do you do in your free time? What activities do you do in, in your my free, free time? In my free time, I play with my son, but my son um, has uh, two years and is okay. is very active. Okay, okay, very good. So uh, let's see, why do you study English? Uh, I I learn learn is aprender. Mm -hmm. I learn the new language, but or, or I think I think song is important. Okay. Um, very, but uh, for me is um is more difficult. Okay. So what will you do in order to improve your English? ¿Qué vamos a hacer entonces para mejorar el English? Um, I listen the music with subtitles. Sub, 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 mm -hmm. sub, see the movie with subtitles. And practice the conversation and learn new world. Excellent. Thank you very much, Oscar. So we are going to stop here because of the time. I hope that you can continue studying English. Espero que pueda continuar, ¿verdad? Estudiando inglés y pues que logre la meta de aprender. Okay. Okay, so have a good night. Thank you, Tisha. Thank you, see you Monday. Good night. See you Monday.